Uh, my name is Nicolas. I wanted to ask a question to Alfonso. Actually, I wanted to know from him how important is today Google Plus in the strategy of a brand. So we are most of us all on Facebook, but for example, we don't have a Google Plus uh, account. And I'm wondering sometimes if does that have an effect on the search uh, en engine position on Google, for example. Okay. And you're from? I'm from Citrus. Thank you. Cool. So. Uh... Yeah, there is a, a lot of uh, misunderstanding in general about uh, Google Plus. Uh, it's not another Facebook. So Google Plus is a social layer that we have above all our products. Uh, let me explain the meaning of this. Uh, if you have a Google Plus account and you search for something, then th we can give you a personalized search results listings that are customized for you and, I mean, for all the characteristics, all your personal characteristics. Let's suppose you are a vegetarian. We know about that. Today, if you go and you search online for restaurants, you will get the same results that everyone else is getting. If you are a vegetarian and we know about that and you search for restaurants, the listing that you will get will be much more relevant to you. Okay? And the same is happening across all our products. The same is happening on YouTube. So if we know about your interests and so on, then we can provide you with much more relevant content. And the same is happening across all the other things that we do. So this is really the key objective for us. So it's not about building another uh, social network. And it's really about understanding our users in order to provide better results to them. Uh, in order to answer your question, if it, uh, if it affects, in general, the search results, if you have a Google Plus page and, uh, I mean, you are searching for a specific brand, then the, your Google Plus page will, I mean, will be shown there in the listings. And usually we have seen that the level of CTRs that we get when you also have a Google Plus page increased by 10%. Okay, so there is a positive effect on CTR when you also have a Google Plus page. You want to say something? Any, any other questions in the audience? Got a lady back there. The sunglasses. Uh, thanks. Uh, I heard it, there was a mention of the full online uh, solution shopping, online shopping solutions. Can you tell us a bit more about those and who uses them and how successful they've been? Can you tell us just, sorry, your name and company? Uh, my name is Yasmin Chihata from um, Enigma magazine. We're about to launch a shopping site. Yasmin Shihata, Enigma Magazine. Okay. Very uh, if I understood correctly, you're asking uh, Hassan to give you more details about who is using their e-commerce solutions? And, and what, what exactly they offer. What are the e-commerce solutions and, and uh, who's using them? Okay. Can you give us okay, a, okay, a brief okay. thing and then uh, if you can you catch up with him after. Uh, people that have signed up right now are the likes of Sharaf DG in Dubai. You've got actually 800 other Eight, uh, retailers that have signed up out of India last year. That's where we started the project, it was back in India as a pilot. And we found out it was successful, so we brought it here to the region. Uh, you also have, uh, if you go to thehipster.com, they went live about three weeks ago with the solution. Uh, it's actually, all we're doing is giving you access to a solution. We're not being preferential here, because in the next few months, you'll also see other platforms that we're calling integrated partners that'll be part of the Aramex e-commerce you know, uh, uh, solutions available, like Shop2Go becoming on board soon for sure. Uh, we're doing a lot of, uh, we've done a lot of integrated work with also with uh, Magento. So it will never be just one particular platform that we are, you know, trying to push or promote because it will be your choice to decide what's best for your business. Um, if you go to aramex.com slash e-commerce, you will sign, we'll find under there all the solutions that you might need for your business. And again, they're all fully integrated with delivery, with PayPal, uh, who else uh, with uh, cash on delivery, the famous words, <laughs> okay? So it's all out there, it's a, ba a standard, basic, and enterprise. It starts from $200 a month to like uh, maximum it'll reach like 1500 uh, Okay, we have time for a last question, if there's a last question. Okay, right here. Hello. Yeah. Hi. My, my name is Anas Alshanti, I'm from thecancom.com. I just want to ask uh, uh, Hassan about Hussein, yeah? Hassan. Hassan, Hassan, yes. 
I just want to ask him about um, if, if, if uh, Ready as an e-commerce platform. Uh, Ready is not a platform. Uh, Ready, Ready is a solution center. Yeah. Uh, but we will be, we'll be putting all sorts of platforms on there. Does it actually allow small companies or individual sellers to be able to sell online as well? Or is it just tailor-made? Not, tailor not, not through us. We're not in the, you know, I'll be very clear. We're not in the technology business to sell solutions. Ronaldo's right there behind you. That's his baby, okay? But no, that's not I'm what we're saying, in. We're in the business I'm of giving access to solutions that are integrated with RMX. In terms of, uh, in terms of shipping? And logistics, shipping. Hey, logistics, uh, logistics uh, shipping, you name it. And payments as well. And payment, if we can offer it, but we're already integrated with PayPal. So if you can get a PayPal account, fine, you're going to have a problem with withdrawals and etc. We're integrating with Networks International out of, uh, out of uh, Dubai. We're talking to other banks in the region also. Yeah, but, but it's still, the, the, the question is, is it, is it expensive or is it cheap enough for small companies to sign up it for is, your it, service? And it, it, is, it is cheap. It is cheap. But somebody on the Chris Schroeder panel said something very interesting earlier. Maybe you don't have to right away get your own storefront. Maybe you can go to someone like Sue.com and, and, and try it out. You know, get that presence online. You know, you, you don't have to always have my own, oh, I want my own e-commerce solution. It's not as, you don't have to do that. But get started at least, you know, with something that's already out there, whether it's Shop2Go, whether it's Suit.com, whether it's Nahal.com. Uh, and you've got, there's tremendous opportunities there for the taking, and people are not making, taking advantage of them. Yeah. Uh, are, are you thinking of actually pushing those products through Nahal.com or any other platforms as a marketplace? Are you going to create a certain marketplace for no. that service? Are no, we're, uh, we're not into marketplaces. All right, thank you. Okay, great. So uh, thank you very much to the panelists. Uh, thank you for the audience for listening, and uh, feel free to catch up with any of the, uh, the uh, speakers afterwards.